tonight at 11. Many people around the Commonwealth are now pointing fingers at who they believe is responsible for this weekend's violent rally in Charlottesville. Now, the city's police department is blaming the protesters, while the Virginia American Civil Liberties Union is accusing the department of not doing its job in protecting people, and some are even criticizing the federal court system for allowing the rally to even happen in the first place. WSLS 10's Rob Manch explains the many sides to this story. Late Monday afternoon, Charlottesville's police chief stood in front of cameras, placing the blame for violence in his streets <laughs> squarely on the protesters committing it. We had agreements and worked out uh, a security plan to bring the groups in and separate uh, entrances. Again, they decided to um, change the plan and enter the park in different directions. But the Virginia ACLU contradicted that statement in a release Monday, saying, quote, the policing on Saturday was not effective in preventing violence. In fact, law enforcement was standing passively by, seeming to be waiting for violence to take place. The ACLU sued Charlottesville earlier this month when the city tried to revoke the permit for Saturday's rally on grounds that it could get out of control. Federal Judge Glenn Conrad agreed with the ACLU, arguing the city was being unfair to the unite the right organizers and lacked evidence to pull the rally permit. His ruling states in part, quote, there is no evidence to support the notion that many thousands of individuals are likely to attend the demonstration. But thousands did show up and one died in the streets while dozens of others were injured. Monday morning, in an interview with NPR's Morning Edition, Governor Terry McAuliffe laid the blame for the rally on the ACLU, stating, quote, the city of Charlottesville asked for that to be moved out of downtown Charlottesville to a park about a mile and a half away. We were unfortunately sued by the ACLU and the judge ruled against us. Now, as people in Charlottesville mourn the loss of 32-year-old Heather Heyer and two state police troopers, Chief Thomas says there are regrets. We lost three lives this weekend, uh, a local citizen and two fellow officers. We certainly have regrets. It was a tragic, tragic weekend. In Charlottesville, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.